In this video, I'm going to talk about quick reply, the options available within Copilot Studio send a message control. Now, what is quick reply? Quick reply are basically used to suggest responses or action for the user. So take for example, if you're asking a question to a user uh, and you're expecting an answer from the user. Now, what if the user does not type, want to type anything? Like if you want to present them some options, like take for example, in a form, now you can give a single line of text or a multi line of text for a user or maybe you can ask a user to select it from a drop down list so what happens is when you give the user an option to pick from some set of uh, strings then this will give you a controlled approach and controlled responses for your copilot however there is always an option that user can override the uh, the options which is presented to them and they can pick their own option as well so the purpose of quick reply is basically to show uh, a predefined responses to user so that user can select out of that now quick reply are used to suggest responses or actions for the users responses that which are clicked by the user is sent to copilot quick reply text option gets shown in the chat history as well quick reply buttons are removed from the chat history so only the text passes and the buttons are removed from the chat history so if you go back into the chat history and have a look into that you will not be able to see the button in it not all the channels support quick reply so you need to make sure that uh, if you are using it for a specific channel then uh, uh, make sure that quick replies are uh, supported in that in some channel quick replies uh, are not shown completely so it is shown partially so you need to be aware of that as well quick reply type what are the different types you can do you can send a message uh, so take for example if you select an option type of send a message then you can actually send a text message to uh, the as a part of the response and then that response will get received by the copilot you can also initiate an action to open a url uh, you can initiate an action to make a telephone call provided you put the call in a specific format. Uh, you can also send a hidden message using the quick reply type. Now I'm going to go to, through all this option is just like I'm just going making you aware of what all options are available as a part of quick reply type. Quick reply properties. Now there are multiple things happening. You first suggest a response. So you show them in the form of a button. On click of a button, some different text may also flow to the copilot. So, text to send to bot, text to display on button, text to display in chat history, and image to display next to button. So, these are the options which are available as a part of quick reply. This is how the control is placed. So, if you see over here, if you go to message, uh, you have an option to select quick reply. Quick reply property, send a message, open URL, make a call, and so on and so forth. Now, the use case which I mentioned is it will ask user to be uh, selecting from a specific set of option. But from a developer perspective, now you so think for example, like if you're building Copilot Studio, uh, then you might be testing various topics, right? And now you need not type every time the, uh, the, the topic uh, prompts, right? So what you need to do is like you create a quick reply and then uh, you can start just testing by just uh, uh, adding that in the the start initiating uh, topic and then you can just click on a button and then you can start testing your application so i'm going to show that in the demo as well so let's jump into the demo so this i'll pick up one of the co-pilot which i've created so this is girish cleaner services so let me go into the topic and first let me add a topic so i'll add a topic and i'll call this as quick reply country okay so just one simple topic now phrases uh i will just hard code it for time being i'll just say uh, which country or maybe i'll just say country or say countries okay so this is a simple uh trigger phrase which country country countries and here if i select send a message then i have an option i have an option to add a text image video basic card adaptive card but we are going to focus on quick reply so if i click on quick reply i can uh, suggest various items in it so if i click on add over here it says send a message open url make a call send a hidden message so i'll just first start with send a message so send a message 
text. Now, if you see this text, it says the text to send to the bot when clicked. So this will be sent to the bot or the co-pilot when you click on a button, okay? Now, this is not the button text, right? So I'll just type in, say, Australia. And I'll just type in Australia country, okay? So let me spell it correctly. Yeah, Australia country, okay? Now, in title, if you see over here, this is the text to display on the button. If not specified, a default value will be shown depending on the type of quick reply. So here, this is the text to be displayed on the button. So I'll just type in Australia, okay? So this is the button text, and this is the text which gets passed to the co-pilot, right? In advanced option, you have something called as display text. Now, display text is the text to display as a sent message in the chat history after the user has clicked. So this can also be a different thing, okay? So we have text, we have title, we have display text. Text is which gets passed to the bot or copilot. Title is the button value, the button name. Display text is the text to display as a sent message in the chat history. So the chat history will not have the button listed. So you need to say something over here so that you have the traces. So maybe I can put a separate value here as well. So I'm just giving you a simple example, but depending on your scenario, you can pick and choose whatever three options you want, right? So the third one display text is displayed in the chat history. Now, what is a chat history? So if you navigate to the back end of Power Apps, uh, you will find a table called as conversation transcript. So let me refresh this table. So this is a conversation transcript table which stores all the recorded conversation you're having with the bot. So if you go into this content and just copy this content and put it in a JSON viewer, then you should be able to see what's what all the things you have chatted with the bot. Okay, so you can see from value. Then if you go to number one, you can see the attachments, channel data, uh, from channel ID. So like this, you can have a look into various things. So if you see this value, this is for the connection name, that's a token, uh, and you, you will be able to see all the traces over here. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that, but I'm just showing you that uh, a chat history also gets generated. Now, this is one quick reply, okay? So you have type, text, title, display text, image, image alternative text. Now you can save it or you can add a second entry. Now this area becomes very busy. So make sure that you click on advanced option and you see that this is what you have typed. Now let's add another option. So uh, another country which I like the most, so Canada. So I'll just say Canada country and title and say Canada. Uh, advanced option. So here I can just say uh, in the display text, I'll just say Canada, let's say NA or North America. Okay. So I've just put something over here. Okay. So image, image alternative text, I haven't touched it as of now. I'll uh, explain you once I demonstrate this. Okay. So I'll click on save over here and let's reset the bot. And now let's type in our prompt. So if I just type in country, then I can see these two options. Now these are called as quick reply. Now you can have as many quick reply as you can, but make sure that you uh, don't overwhelm the user with the quick reply. Now where you can use this quick reply is like if you are using a, if you're creating a bot to or provide services for your customers and if the customer uh, are interested in say specific service or if you think that customer will be interested in the, this top five services say take for example if it's a hardware company then customer might have an inquiry about the cpu or the ram or the price or the service hours or the open store hours so all these things you can pre-can and put it in this as a part of the response now as you see over here i have present to the user with two options i can select australia or canada and on basis of that this flow will execute now i have nothing written over here so nothing will nothing will happen but user can click on australia now if i click on australia watch what happens now you can see this two button over here if i click on australia that button is gone now right now if you see from 
from in this between over here that button is gone and you can you, you don't see over here anymore right so this is the one australia country this is a text which we said that show that in the chat history right so if you again go over here now how to edit this component is like you need to first select this okay so you select this and then it will open that prompt and then here you will see australia country so this is the text which will be sent to the bot when clicked okay and aussie is the text which will get stored as a part of the chat history the text to display as a sent message in the chat history after the user has clicked so these are the two different options which you can see now in order to make it more uh, you know, attractive what we can do is like i've used australia icon free uh, so maybe i'll just copy this image link and if i go into this uh, advanced option i can paste the image url or maybe i can put the base 64 value as well now for canada i have this icon over here so i'll just copy image link and you click on advanced option and image i'll put it over here control v okay so two images are there yeah, and make sure that you put an image alternative text uh, for accessibility so i'll just say canada flag and here i'll say image alternative text australia flag so i've added a couple of icons over here i'll click on save again i'll click on refresh now i'll just type in country and now it will present me two option but with an icon over here now it looks much nicer uh, so you can even style that accordingly okay so australia and canada and i can pick whatever option i want i'll click on canada and then again it is asking for option because uh, the item which i'm passing is canada country and then it is triggering that same action in, in again and again right so make sure that you don't use the response back as the trigger response else it might go in that loop okay so make sure that if you do not want to go into that loop uh, you just uh, pick up the option over here so if i select australia and if i select australia country canada country so maybe i'll just remove this country over here because that is again triggering the option i'll click on save and i'll just refresh it back again and let me again ask for a response country now this time is asking for australia canada i'll click on australia and that's it that button is gone because now the country is not getting triggered and again again uh, however it has triggered something else it has gone into some different uh, thing uh, because i have a lot of topics created for this particular board so that's fine now i'll just close this section over here now from a uh, uh, section quick replies perspective now there are a couple of other things now here we said that it will just a click of a button right now there are other options which we can create so in all from uh, so let me add one more option so i'll just say uh, i'll just click on here i'll just click on add and this time i'm gonna say open a url so if i click on open a url let me put one of my website so this is one of the website and then i need to say title what do you want now in this title it says the text to display on the button if not specified the default value will be shown i'll just say garish website so this is will be shown in the web uh the button again in advanced option you can put an image you can put an image alternative text i'm not going to do that i'll just say click on save now we have three options we have two button australia canada and then i have added a website for uh just to show you an example of opening url so type in again country and here i can see australia i can see canada i can see girish website and if i click on this it will navigate me to the website the target url right so this is the third option now let's look into the other option so if i click over here again now if i want to remove it i just need to click x over here and then this will be gone don't remove this because that will remove the entire thing okay now for the fourth options let me add another thing and here the fourth option instead of send a message or open a url i'll say make a call and here it'll say phone number which phone number you want to call okay now here there are some instructions the phone number to call when clicked okay now there is a set of documentation which microsoft has provided uh in the learn it says open a url url must start with this 
and make a call call a phone number your entry must be in this format okay so if you put a make a call just don't put the number you need to be in this format so tell colon and then whatever number you want to put in right and then you say call customer care i'll click on save and it will start like if you have a compatible application to call a specific number then it will uh, allow you to call directly from the web so let's test it again so let me refresh this and click on country and this time i have four options uh, the two uh, buttons then the url and call customer care if i click on call customer care it will try accessing the application the compatible application so you need to pick an app and then it will call through skype or any other uh, application which you have i'll just close this for time being uh what are the other options now if i click on here and then i'll add one more option and i'll call this as send a hidden message now what happens like if you want to pass some hidden message into your copilot yes you can do that so if you see this text again this text is the text to send to the bot when clicked this will not be shown in the chat history after sending so this is something hidden and secret okay uh what it can be it can be uh any confidential information okay so you can even pass that information as a part of sending a hidden message now here in the title uh, you can just say the text to display on the button if not specified to a default value will be shown so i'll just say send secret okay and i'll click on save now this can be a dynamic component as well uh, depending on the use case uh, you can uh, request for some information from the user and then uh, based on some logic or based on some variable manipulation you can take that user's detail from the backend system and then try passing it to the copilot okay so this is that use case for that system so if i click on test over here uh, i'll just say refresh and again i'll type in country so we have now different types so we have australia canada button Girish website website call customer care calling the number and this is sending the secret so if i click on send a secret secret will be received in the copilot application right so this is how you basically use uh, uh, the quick reply options in copilot studio now why how it is helpful for a developer now while testing this bot i have to again give a prompt i have to again give type in something and then move around right so instead of that what developers can do is maybe they can start with conversation start now this is the conversation start uh, option over here now i can see that i have uh, various topics created right so in get color i have something called as get color as a trigger phrase in get price i have show me price okay now what i can do i can go to conversation start and here itself in the conversation start itself i can add a quick reply now if you see over here i have already added quick reply over here right so i can add one more quick reply and i'll say uh, country okay the one which we just created so i'll just type in country and title as country and uh, like that i can create multiple quick replies so so what happens like it will like say ease your uh, effort of typing in something while testing recurrently okay so if you are testing it continuously then uh, i would advise using this conversation start edit this and then if you see over here once the bot is loaded it will automatically give you multiple options depending on different topics now we have already created that country topic if i click on country then it will give you this option ready made. okay so i haven't even touched the keyboard okay so with the help of mouse i've just used this and then based on this requirement i can initiate that action so i'll just click on send secret and then yes that's done so this is just one another use case the developers can use uh, a quick reply to speed up the development process so that's it folks this is all about quick reply in microsoft copilot studio thanks for watching